Deviant World. Hi friends, how are you all doing? Do you sometimes wish that you could fly? Sadly, we can't fly like birds do. Anyway, why not discuss birds today? Birds are such a common sight that we often overlook their amazing characteristics. Here are some lesser known facts about birds. Birds shed their feathers once to thrice each year, allowing new ones to grow. This process is known as molting. Interestingly, it's not just birds that molt. Even mammals such as cats and dogs, reptiles like snakes, lizards, insects and amphibians shed their skin too. Now, if you ask me if humans molt too, the answer would be yes, we shed our hair almost every day and our skin cells almost 10 times in a year. Ornithology is the study of birds. But do you know what the study of birds' eggs is called? The answer is oology. The lack of high quality binoculars to observe birds during the 19th and 20th centuries was one of the reasons that collecting eggs to study birds gained popularity. Interestingly, oology has also been a hobby for some. However, it's also illegal in some countries. Some species of birds lay their eggs in the nests of other birds. These birds usually keep to the sky and leave the responsibility of hatching the eggs and raising the young ones to the host. This peculiar practice is known as brood parasitism. Falconry is an art come sport that dates back to around 700 BCE. Falcons are bred and trained to hunt other birds or animals. This sport is popular in North America, the UK and the Middle East. Falconry was declared as an intangible cultural heritage by UNESCO in the year 2010. Birds are found in tropical forests across Africa, Europe, and mainly Asia. They get their name from the way they construct their nests. The edges of a large leaf are sewn together with plant fiber or spider's web to make a cradle in which the nest is then built. Wow! So did you know all that? I think it's very interesting. Let's proceed, shall we? Nicknamed sea parrots and clowns of the ocean, Atlantic puffins are seabirds with black and white feathers like that of penguins and a colorful beak that is dull grey during winters and a bright orange by spring. Atlantic puffins are great swimmers and can dive up to 60 meters underwater. They are also amazing flyers capable of flying around 80 km per hour. Red-billed hornbills make very protective parents. A female hornbill seals the entrance of a nest by building a wall so that it can protect its young ones from predators. And when the young ones are too big to fit in there, the mother breaks the wall and the parents keep the young ones together. Emus are an Australian species and the largest bird on the continent. They are the second largest in the world after their African counterpart, the ostrich, with an average height of more than 5 feet. Like ostriches, emus can't fly either. The Australian pelican holds the record for the longest beak among birds. The beak of an Australian pelican can grow as long as 50 cm or 20 inches. Scientifically called Pelicanus conspiculatus, the Australian pelican has mythological significance for Aboriginal people. Arctic terns are the most nomadic of all birds. They hold the record for the longest migration for any animal in the world, covering anywhere between 70,000 km to 90,000 km every year. 
Arctic terns are among the very few birds that can hover. The best among the hovering birds is the hummingbird. I hope you found this information about birds informative and interesting. I for one am not going to look at the birds the same way again. Right then, that's all for today's video. Bye bye.